Hello guys and welcome back to another Mistlands news update video. So let's jump straight into it. Now the post that has just been released can actually be found over on the Steam community page and has a few little goodies for us. First it does give thanks to everyone who voted Valheim in the GDCA Audience Awards, which they managed to win uh, both that and the best debut category and that's fantastic for them especially with all the work that they've put into this game uh, they really do deserve it they then go on to mention the frost caves which every one of us has uh, been delving into although i'm not sure if anyone has on our community server which we actually just started a about a week ago um, during our twitch live streams uh, where we play valheim for the second half of the stream currently um, so i'm looking forward to doing that soon Returning to the article though, they've confirmed that Valheim is fully Steam Deck compatible, so if you're one of those that's lucky enough to get one, congratulations, you'll be able to play it on that. And it's at this point that they actually delve into the information about the Mistlands. Uh, showing off this beautiful picture whilst mentioning new creatures and dungeons, as well as weapons of, that are being prepped. They mentioned that the update is still quite some time away and I've heard people talking about it being ready for summer. However, uh, if there's a lot more to do, perhaps we can actually see this being pushed out to about the time Hearth and Home was released, which was, if I remember rightly, October. Here's hoping that we get it sooner. I think the concept art gives some hints as to what we can expect. And the dungeons to me suggest that those big moths that we've been shown may actually come from nests which are the dungeons um, where their larvae is. And that could suggest, if that's the case, that we'll be fighting the larvae, or maybe even like a, a moth queen. I, I don't know if they have queens, I'm just guessing. Uh, and that could actually be maybe the, the boss of the biome as well. Who knows at this point? And I do say that this is larvae or, or moths because numerous times the devs have said that there are no spiders coming to the Mistlands because of community backlash due to it being a common fear by people. Then again, they could just be having us on and add spiders anyway, but I definitely think this is more along the lines of moths. I'm also quite interested in the stairs that they've chosen to put leading up and also this wonderful little ramp. Um, it suggests that maybe this was used by a humanoid race at some point, um, whether they were harvesting the the materials from the, the, the what's inside, who knows. Uh, but we can see that something is coming out of it um, by this wonderful jelly-like web of material that's been slung around the entrance. Looking over at the side, there's actually a little blue glimmer. This could just be thistles or it could be something else. Uh, I'm not sure. Regardless, let me know what you think it might be in the comment section below, along with what creatures you think we might be facing in these. We then get shown one of the new weapons that was teased a few weeks ago, which is the crossbow. It looks like it's made of black metal, although it could just be iron and then reflecting that green. I'm not quite sure. But with crossbows being traditionally very powerful, it wouldn't surprise me if it was a black metal item, especially if the Mistlands is the next biome along in terms of difficulty, which I'm just speculating here, um, from the plains, meaning that we'll want these level items prior to hitting the Mistlands for a raid. Finally, they point to the other video that they released a few weeks ago that we've covered uh, of the bone bow or the spine splitter as I aptly named it. Um, I think it looks great. I'm really looking forward to playing around with it, but I'm dying to hear more about all the different weapons that they're, they're ho hoping to bring to us. Um, but that's all we have for today. Let me know your thoughts below. And if you want to keep up to date with the news, why not subscribe? And if you're free, why not join me on Twitch 8.30 p.m. GMT, Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday for some Valheim for the time being. Uh, thanks uh, does go to all of our amazing supporters, most notably our Solo Eclipse patrons who allow me to create this, uh, most notably The Calamity, Cerebral Tag, James Irwin and Jerry2, as well as our Lunars, uh, Dixie Chris, Lord of July and Ben, as well as our Blood Moon, Pathos Snoozy. Anyway guys, until next time, ciao for now.